There is no politician and there is certainly no political commentator that's ever going to lead this nation back to God. For those of you who put your hopes in a politician, whether his name be Barack Obama or anyone else, or a political commentator, be it Keith Olbermann, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, you name any of them, I'm telling you today that your hope and your faith is in the wrong place. Stay tuned for this edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will Today. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there for you. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you today. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you all with me on this Wednesday, the last day of June. Can you believe that? The year is half over already. Seems like we were just sitting down to Thanksgiving dinner, opening Christmas presents, bringing in the new year, and here we are, 2010 is half over. Time is really flying. Glad you've joined me today for a very important program, as we're going to be talking about the leading politicians and political commentators of our day, and how none of them, none of them, are going to lead this nation back to God, back to His truth, and if you're putting your hope or faith in any of these people, you are putting your hope and faith in the wrong place. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Wednesday. Welcome to the program. Of course, I'm the founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people every day via the Internet. Come visit us if you haven't already at LivePrayer.com. The web address is on your screen. When you come to the website, make sure on the left menu bar you click on the devotional sign-up link. Put your email address in there, and you'll be added to our distribution list of a little over 2.4 million folks around the world who get my free daily devotional I've written every day since we started in 99, almost 11 years ago. It's a great way to start your day. Lots of great content on the website. Much of it changes daily, unique content you're not going to find anywhere else. It's all free. There's nothing to buy. Everything there is designed for one reason. That's to minister to you and bless you, especially in your time of need. So come visit us at liveprayer.com. You know, I am really encouraged as we get into the month of July because tomorrow we unleash our national public relations campaign in preparation for the opening of our 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero, we will start holding services in New York City, less than a block from Ground Zero, on Sunday, September 5th. Not that long ago. And we will be holding Sunday services there every Sunday from September 5th through the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, we will have a full 24-7 Christian Center at Ground Zero, where we'll hold services daily. We're going to have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for people who come visit Ground Zero just to come in for a little quiet time and reflection. It's going to be a powerful place, and it's our response to that mosque that's being built on, ground, on, the, on the side of Ground Zero, $110 million the Muslims have ponied up to build a mosque on that hallowed ground where one of their Muslim, or several of their Muslim brothers, took those towers down, murdered in cold blood 3,000 innocent people. And of course we know, even though 9-11 is now nine years removed, that our war on terror has not been any way stopped, but it has intensified. And I sit here today to tell you that if you are sitting there in your living room, bedroom, wherever you're watching me, and you don't understand that there are going to be more attacks on our soil, you've been sound asleep because it's not a matter of if they attack again. It's only when and where. But we're going to take a bold stand for Christ on ground zero starting September 5th. So be in prayer 
And we will start as of next Monday giving you much more details about our new 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero starting services, starting to hold services Sunday, September 5th. So be praying for us as we go into Ground Zero to claim that ground for Christ and to expose the lies of Satan through the false religion of Islam. we got a great program for you today. Hope you enjoyed our encore performance of our Nation's Only Hope infomercial yesterday. We've got a lot to get to today because when we come back from our first break, we're going to be talking about politicians and political commentators who many people are putting their hope and faith in today. And I want to explain to you today why your faith is in the wrong place. Watch this important commercial announcement, and we'll be right back with more of Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com and the host of the Live Prayer TV program. Today our nation is in spiritual freefall. We legally slaughter over 4,000 innocent babies. We've made a mockery of God's holy institution of marriage. We bow down and worship every false god and idol man has created in his rebellious mind. Our government sides with the enemies of Israel. My friend, this nation is doomed to experience God's judgment and wrath for our sins and wickedness unless we turn back to our Creator and His truth right away. It's our only hope. For the past 11 years, I've helped to pioneer evangelism on the internet through the LivePrayer.com website with unique content not found anywhere else in the world. The daily devotional I've written every day for the last 11 years that's impacted tens of millions of lives worldwide and led over 400,000 souls we know of to faith in Jesus Christ. Through our ministry team that sent personal responses to over 70 million emails for prayer, our award-winning TV programs seen in cities around the country the last seven years, our YouTube videos with millions of views, as well as my appearances on Fox, CNN, and other programs. I'm committed to bringing together Christians of all denominations and backgrounds together as one to lead this nation back to God and biblical truth. Today, I need your help. We're syndicating this live prayer TV program in cities all over the country, which will be used to rally Christians in one unified voice. Will you stand with me? Everyone can pray. Everyone can sacrifice something to help me lead this nation back to God. Simply pray. Ask God what he's asking you to give to help me today. For some, it may be a gift of $5 or $10. Others, it may be $20 or $50. Still others, $100, $200, $500, $1,000 or more. God will show you the amount, and he will bless you for your obedience. You can give a gift through your major credit card or PayPal on the LivePrayer.com website under the donation link, or you can mail a gift to Live Prayer 6660 46th Avenue North, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33709. My friend, thank you for standing with me. Thank you for helping me call this nation to repentance, to turn back to God and His truth. Our time is short. We must act now. Will you help me today? God bless you. And welcome back to Live Prayer again. Thank you for those of you who are praying for this ministry every day, and thank you to those who have made the sacrifice to help me keep this program going as we are now expanding and syndicating the program into new markets. Your gifts to this ministry make that possible. Of course, you can give via our Gold for Souls program that you've heard about. You can give on a secured server with your major credit card or PayPal on our website or you can drop a check to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is coming up on your screen right now. Jot it down, and again, if you can send a gift in to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, uh, that's an easy way to help us as well. Again, your gift to this ministry keeps us going. You know, a couple weekends ago, political pundit and commentator Rush Limbaugh got married for the fourth time. I bring that up this, this day because I have seen a, a very troubling thing occurring in our, in our nation's landscape. And that's so many people putting their hope and trust, their faith, in a politician or in a political commentator like Limbaugh. 
The thing that troubled me most about Limbaugh's fourth marriage wasn't the fact he's been married and divorced three times, now he's on the number four. That speaks for itself. But it's the fact that at his wedding, he spent a million dollars, his money, granted he can do with it what he wants, but a million dollars to have homosexual activists, same-sex marriage participant, Elton John, singing at his wedding. Now, again, it's Limbaugh's money. If he wants to give a million bucks to Elton John to serenade him and his wife, that's great. But Limbaugh over the years has considered himself a bastion of, as he puts it, morality. He has taken a strong stand for the issue of life, which I've always appreciated. He's also, though, spoken out against same-sex marriage. He's spoken out against the radical homosexual agenda. So I find it very ironic that Rush Limbaugh, in order to please his fourth wife, invited a leading homosexual activist and a man who's participated in same-sex marriage, Elton John, as great a singer as they may be, to perform at his wedding. What message does that send? But it highlights the hypocrisy of politicians and political commentators. I've spoken often on this program about one of the great tools of Satan of our day, Glenn Beck. Not because of his political stance. I could care less. As a matter of fact, I agree with Beck on most of his political stance. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing because he represents the satanic Mormon cult. He's speaking to an audience of people who are mostly unchurched. And there's no doubt as a byproduct, he will lead people into the false lies of of Joey Smith and the Mormon cult and their souls to the eternal damnation of hell's flames. That's why I speak out against Glenn Beck and warn people about him, because he often speaks of God, as does Limbaugh, as does Hannity, as does most of these political pundits, especially on the conservative side. Of course, the hypocrisy of those on the left, like Chris Matthews, who speaks out on religious matters, is clear because he supports the legalized slaughter of babies the proliferation of the radical homosexual agenda, same-sex marriages, as does our current president, who claims to be a Christian, yet supports everything God stands against. It's very troubling to me, especially when it comes to political commentators with a politically right bent, that the Millions and millions of people who follow them and hang on their every word. Most who aren't rooted and grounded in the faith. Now listen, I understand for those mature Christians, you're not going to be swayed by Rush Limbaugh inviting Elton John or Glenn Beck's satanic Mormon beliefs. I understand that. But you've got to understand this. The vast majority of the people these, the, these commentators reach have never even been to church. The better percentage of two full generations now have never even been to church. So the vast percentage of the people who listen to these people have never been to church, have no foundation of faith in their life. They aren't rooted and grounded 